In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to um, do a fresh install of FPP software. Things have changed a little bit this year that maybe you're not aware of. We're not we're not uh, suggesting you use the Bellina Etcher at this point because it seems to be creating a lot of corrupted SD cards. So I'm going to show you what we're, we sort of suggest you do now. So first of all, it's the software Raspberry Pi Imager. So you click on there. Uh, should be the top link. Scroll down till you see the blue thing, the blue box, download for Windows, do your typical download. When it's done, install the software. Once you're done installing the software, it'll run just like this in the icon. So you got Raspberry Pi Imager, choose OS. This is going to be, uh, this, is the, 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 this is a little bit of the trickery here. Um, you want other specific purpose OS. No longer do you need to go to GitHub and download the image or whatever else. It's all done through Raspberry Pi Imager. Click on that, uh, Falcon Pi Player there. Click on that. What version do you want? Are you doing it for a Pi or are you doing it for a BeagleBone? Make sure you know the difference. If you're doing it for a Pi, you obviously want the Pi version. If you're doing it for a BeagleBone, like a Culp controller, it would be a BeagleBone. So we click on the Pi here. Uh, 731 is the latest as of this video. Choose your storage. Be sure you're choosing your uh, 32 gig or whatever SD card you got. Don't go formatting your other drives, that's not gonna be good for you. Click on that and click uh, click right. That's it, yes, away it goes. Now, this is assuming you know how to put an SD card into your computer or your laptop. I think if I went to, okay, if I went to Amazon, I'm in Canada, but we'll try Com. I'm imagining there's a USB card reader. I mean, they, they're pretty generic now. Um, any of the, these things look like there's, there's even smaller ones, $14. I'm sure there's even things for, for less than a couple dollars. Um, any of these guys will work. Any way to get that SD card into your computer. That's it. Oh, I, I, I grabbed an old SD card that may not be very good for this demo. I apologize. But that's it. Once it's done, it'll write it. It will verify it. You will export it or you close it, eject it out of your computer. And I'm sticking into your pie. And... Uh, you're off. Away you go. Hope that helps. Talk to you later.